Hey everyone, I'm the legend joined by my wonderful girlfriend Molly. We're coming at you this today from Panama City Beach here in Florida. And in this video, we're going to show you everywhere we ate and drank on our trip to Panama City Beach. So if you're coming to the, to the beach here, you can get some good ideas of places you might want to go eat. Because they got some good food here in Panama City. I do. Up next on the tour is the probably the place Molly was most excited about oh, here in, in Panama City Beach. And it's Burger Time Gulf Coast Burger Company. So the Gulf Coast Burger Company, they have these crazy shakes. You might have seen them a lot of places, but uh, we got one called Sugar Rush. It was a vanilla shake topped with cotton candy, nerd's rope, cherry, airhead extremes, a big lollipop, fruity pebbles, and whipped cream. Uh, pretty wild. We had to voice this over because they had live music in the restaurant, and they were they sounded great. We just couldn't really record for the, the video here, but it's really cool, and you get to keep that cup, and they give you a lid and a nice straw. It's actually a really nice souvenir. And now the main course is served. Molly got the Mac Attack Burger, so that's a burger with bacon bits and mac and cheese on it, and then she got a really good seasoned fries, really nice crunch on those fries, and then I got a burger. First of all, it's got a chicken wing on top of it, a pretzel bun, fried onions. Um, it's got a bacon aioli. Oh, the, but I, they had a bunch of different things you could put on top, too. So you could have gotten cheese curds. I, got, I went with the chicken wing. There's an inside look at my burger. And it comes with tater tots. And tater tots are fantastic. It is lunchtime here. We're going to David's New Orleans-style cafe and snowballs. This was like the number one rated restaurant on TripAdvisor for Panama City Beach, so decided to check it out. Here's a look at some of the menus. You got sandwich options, a muffaletta, po' boys. Sir, if you want to, we have a physical menu. Oh, sure. I mean, this works, this works. I appreciate it, though. Red beans, jambalaya. Cafe du Monde beignets, which are amazing. I want some coffee and then the famous snowballs. And look at all the flavors of snowballs. Tiramisu, wedding cakes, tsunami, hurricane, king cake, coconut, blue raspberry. And then they do like stuffed snowballs, which is a snowball filled with ice cream. So for lunch, we went a couple of New Orleans style po' boys. I got a roast beef and provolone. And then Molly got a meatball. Uh, Molly opted for all the vegetables and healthy stuff. I did not. So we had to try the snowball. They put in a big cup to make it less messy. And we figured, uh, since it's a New Orleans style establishment, we went to king cake flavor. So we're sitting down to dinner here at uh, Panama City Beach Institution Pineapple Willies. We currently have a giant frozen drink. They serve uh, Fat Tuesdays frozen drinks. So if you're familiar with that from Universal Orlando or Key West, New Orleans, same idea. Really strong, really good. You buy this cup, it was $15 the first time, 32 ounces. You want to refill it, 10 bucks. And that's, they also have a pretty good beer list for five bucks. And we're gonna look at the food. I, I know where my, my eye goes right away. A one pound bucket of ribs. With Jack Daniels Tennessee sauce. What are some of the other stuff on the menu? Uh, hot wings, cheese bites, po' boys. But also, something I'm very excited about, flavored moonshine. As a, if you follow the channel, we love like the Gatlinburg moonshine, so definitely gonna have some of that. So the first thing to show up was our shot of moonshine, which actually was a pretty good shot, and the souvenir glass is like a mini mason jar with pineapple willies on front. I want raspberry, because I really like raspberry. So dinner is served here. We got the one pound bucket of ribs. It's served in a souvenir like sand bucket with Texas toast and you can see the ribs in there. It's also served with beans. We opted for the side of fries for the dollar fifty and the side of hush puppies for three bucks. So we did have to get our drink cup refilled. We went with the pineapple willy, the signature cocktail here, which is a Roman pineapple drink and it is, it is very, very good. It is breakfast time here in Panama City and we're at the very popular Thomas's Donut and Snack Shop, which came highly recommended. Here's a look at the breakfast menu. You get to pick your type of bread and what kind of protein or cheese and eggs you want to add. They also have kaloshes and then what they're most famous for, donuts. Here you can see some of the donuts. 
here are the donuts we went for. I got a coconut cream donut. I just asked what were the best. Uh, Molly got a chocolate cream glazed donut. And then I went a little something wacky. This is not a breakfast food normally. That is a collage. It is filled with smoked brisket and cheddar. Oh, and here comes Molly's breakfast biscuit. Pretty standard. She went uh, bacon, egg, and cheese. Look at that biscuit, though. It looks amazing. Freshly yeah. made biscuits. Lunchtime here, and we're going for Mexican food at Diego's Burritos and Margaritas. Another one that came very highly reviewed. So here's a look at the menu. You kind of like build your own burritos, nachos, quesadillas. You pick what you want, then you fill it with some sort of protein. You top it, which that is a lot of ingredients to top things off with. And then they also have appetizers. Uh, lots of choices here. And with burritos comes margaritas, and they've got a whole bunch of different margaritas here. I want a nice blue margarita. It's big too, like, it's, a, it's a big margarita. All right, we went with a burrito. Really big, really heavy, really hot. I put all sorts of stuff in there. We got carnitas, we got cheese, we got rice, we got beans. We've got a chipotle mayo salsa. salsa. This is gonna be good. And also the chips, they're, they're really, really tasty. And there you go, there's the inside of that burrito. You can see all the carnitas. Uh, the chipotle mayo is really good. The it's tortilla really is fantastic. I uh, highly recommend this place. It is dinner time for us and we're gonna have dinner here at the Wicked Wheel Bar and Grill. Uh, so some pretty wild decor when you first come in. Lots of uh, motorcycle stuff, an alligator, and a uh, babendum. So the restaurant has a very interesting menu. Um, some very solid starters, cheese curds, onion tanglers, buffalo wings. I'm gonna fold it out here. Ah, uh, salads, nah. You can get an alligator sausage po' boy. That, that's, that's a pretty Florida type dish right there. Yes. It's more uh, like the Louisiana. Yeah. Yes. Very southern. Fried chicken, that's probably how I'm gonna go. Lots of different fried chickens. Some seafood, catfish. Let's see what else we got. Chicken pot pie, chicken fried chicken. I'm a big fan of that too. Maybe we'll go with that. Ooh, prime rib. Funnel cake fries. Then I like the burger section because they have this. The Road King, which comes with a souvenir t-shirt. Also, look at that burger. Got a couple of sandwiches. And then the drinks are fun. And uh Molly, you're going for this one. This this might kill you. Yeah. Uh, 100 proof moonshine, rum, gin, tequila, triple sec, sweet and sour, and a splash of coke. So uh, it's it sounds worth worse than a normal Long Island. Good yeah, luck. We'll see. We'll see. So here's Molly's death drink. It's fascinating because it's served in what you would normally think would be like given to a kid's meal. <laughs> uh, and it, unfortunately, it does taste mostly like sours mix, so uh, it might not be as deadly as we thought. No, it should be easy. Food is served. I got chicken fried chicken with a dinner roll, mashed potatoes with gravy, and then Molly, I got confused. I'm like, did you just order a hamburger? No, <laughs> it's like a build your own. So you got chili, queso, and pico. Mm -hmm and then a side of mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Also, one thing really cool here, the kids' meals are served on Frisbees, and then the kids get to keep the Frisbees. We are uh, classing it up and doing something for Molly. This is her choice. Yeah. Here at the Panama City Beach Winery. I believe that they usually have wines at Food & Wine at Epcot. I think they feature one each year in the Florida booth. Interesting. So the winery is very different. It's all like fruit wines instead of actual wines. So I might enjoy this. And you get to taste Fulper for free. It's really nice. So I always find the margarita bills interesting as they all have different decor. Love like the VIP boat table this one has. Then you got a big sail. You got another boat over here. And then a big Spanish fort and like oceany water. 
And of course, a plane that moved. We made it to Pier Park at happy hour time. And I love me some happy hour, especially when there's beers for 250. Here is a look at their happy hour menu. Beers, 250, three bucks. PJ's Punch, which is a specialty drink for five. And then you got a nice appetizer menu as well. Nice and simple. Molly got a Miller Lite. How about the PJ's Punch, which is like light rum, dark rum, and a couple different juices. It is still happy hour time. And while I don't have much interest in seafood, one dollar beer, holy cow. And there it is, some of the cheapest beers you can get in Panama City. One dollar each. Fine by me. And that is everything we ate and drank during our time in Panama City. We were here for about two and a half days, ate a lot of good stuff, ate kind of weird stuff. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Molly. The locals? Yeah. Now, Molly, you love this part of the vacation. I like some of the, the dorkier tourist trap attractions. You love local food. What was your favorite thing you ate during this trip? Uh, probably the Thomas Donut with the biscuit. That biscuit. That was it really was good biscuit. Really good biscuit. Uh, the second would be the burrito at Diego's. Yeah, the burrito I think was my favorite. That was a really, really good burrito. Mm -hmm. um, and there we go. That, that was my personal favorite. I think we, we saw and, and drank and had a lot of great food. Of course. Um, let us know in the comment section below. What is your favorite place to eat or drink while you're in Panama City? And share that info with the people. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching.